hello everyone welcome back to my channel technology and today in this video tutorial i'm going to show you guys the easiest way to create a file server for your home lab personal home network or even a small office setup using nextcloud with the help of ubuntu server the great thing is ubuntu server comes with pre-configured nextcloud snap option which makes setting up your own private file storage server super simple to install this, you need to follow my step. So at first you need to open your browser and you need to go to this URL. So this URL I will uh, provide to my video description. And after that, first you need to download Ubuntu server. For that, simply click on this requirements option over here and click on this get Ubuntu option. And here you will get a Ubuntu server. So click on get Ubuntu server option. Now here you need to click on this download button, which is download. 24.0.2 okay so download this one so i have already downloaded uh, this uh, iso file which is amd64 uh, dot iso file so i'll cancel this one next i have to download rufus so simply click on this link and after that you need to download this standard version rufus and after download you need to simply open rufus tool on your computer Now first you need to insert pen drive on your computer. So after insert your pen drive, so simply select that pen drive from here. Now click on the select button over here. Now select that ISO file which you have downloaded from that Ubuntu website. So here is a here is the ISO file as you can see AMD64. Okay, so I will select that one. Now you need to click on the start button and click on OK, then OK. Now it will take some time to create the bootable USB pen drive, so you have to wait for a few minutes. And now you need to insert that USB pen drive to your old laptop or PC and after that turn it on and after press boot menu key which is in my case F9, maybe in your case it, it is different. Now boot from your USB pen drive and here you just need to select the first option which is try or install Ubuntu server. Now you just need to press enter to select your language. In my case, it is English. I will press enter over here. Now here it is showing keyboard layout. I will press enter to click on done. Here on this window, you will get three options. So I'll select the first option, which is Ubuntu server. You can choose as per your requirements. On this window, I'm getting two options, which is my Ethernet LAN card and Wi-Fi LAN card. So if you want to select a static IP, so you can change from here or else you can use automatic IP means DHCP. So I'm using here DHCP IP. So I'll simply click on enter. Here is showing like proxy address. No need to put anything. Just simply press enter. Now you need to press enter. Now on this window, you need to select your hard drive or disk where you want to install your Ubuntu server. So in my case, I'm installed on my SSD, which is near about 250 GB. After that, press down arrow key and press enter. Now here on this window showing like storage configuration, my all setup. So I'll simply click on done. It is showing, are you sure you want to continue? So I'll select here, continue and press enter. Now on this window, you need to fill with your name, server name and username and with the password which you want to set for your Ubuntu server. And now it is showing like if you want to enable Ubuntu Pro. So for now, I will skip this option. So I'll select here, skip for now. Now I'll install OpenSSH to connect this Ubuntu server from my Ubuntu machine. So I'll press space to select that option which is install open SSH server and after that press tab key to select the done button. Now on this window I have to select next cloud the second option so I will uh, press down arrow key and after that press space key to select the next cloud and after that I will select the done button. Now select the reboot now option and press enter.
Now here on this window you need to remove your USB pen drive and after that press enter. Now as you can see my Ubuntu server installation completed successfully. And now I'll try to connect that Ubuntu machine from this uh, Windows machine. So what I have to do is simply open CMD and after that I have to type over here SSH. So I have already enabled SSH on my Ubuntu server during installation. So I'll type my username which I have created already and at the date the IP address of my Ubuntu server and after that press enter. Now type over here yes and press enter. Now put the password and press enter. Now as you can see I have successfully logged into that Ubuntu server. Now I have to type over here the command is called sudo dpkg minus reconfigure space console then minus setup. After type this command press enter. Now put the password of your Ubuntu machine and press enter. Now here go with uh, this UTF-8 so I'll press tab then press enter then here guess optimal character set so I'll go with this option so I'll press enter. Now here you can select any any of this front so I'll select here this bold one and after that press tab key then press enter. Now here you can set the font size from here. So I'll set over here 18 to 16 and press tab then press enter. After done, it will take some time. So you have to wait for a few seconds. So after that you just need to open your browser. Simply uh, type your Ubuntu machine IP address and press enter. Now as you can see I'm getting that next cloud page. Now here I have to put the admin name. In my case I'm putting here technology. The password I'm putting here 123 and click on install. Also if this page is not working for you then simply go to your go back to your console and type this command which is sudo ufw allow then port number 80 then comma port number 443 then slash tcp after rule updated simply go to next cloud open next cloud page And as you can see, it is working perfectly. So now if you want to upload some file, click on files. And after that, you can easily upload by using click on new and upload and files and folders from here. Now, if you want to access this terminal Linux machine from your browser, what you have to do, you just need to install cockpit for that. You just need to type sudo apt install cockpit and press enter. Now press Y and press enter. After installation done, simply open your browser and type your Ubuntu machine IP and port number should be 9090 and after that press enter. Now click on advanced then click on proceed. And here you just need to put your Ubuntu machine uh, username and password click on limited access and here I'll put the password and just click on authenticate. Now as you can see I'm getting all the information and also you can check networking from here. You can also see the services and then applications and through this option you can access your terminal from your browser as you can see. So before ending this video. I would like to big thanks to all my channel members, a special shout out to everyone who regularly watches my videos and support the channel through membership. Your support truly means a lot. So if you want to support the channel too, then click on the join button and become a channel member to help me to making more helpful content like this. Thanks again for watching and as always, I will see you on the next one.